Justin Jarrett is not loco, but his website, Loco Sports, L-O-W-C-O, Sports, really about the only way you find out what's going on in high school sports these days, that and, of course, our high school football games uh, that we do on Friday nights. J Justin, welcome aboard. Uh, let's talk a little high school football. We're already two games into the season. Uh, already we're starting to see who's going to be really good and, and who's got some work to do. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a small sample size. You, you never know uh, based on those first couple of weeks, but uh, you start to get a little bit of an idea. You can glean something of it. And, you know, one of the teams we saw on WHHI last week, May River, looks mm -hmm. really good. They had a huge win over Bluffton, and uh, now they're going to be featured on, on WHHI on Friday night again against Whale Branch, another undefeated team from north of the Broad. So a couple exciting teams there. And then, uh, you know, here on the island, you, you've got some exciting teams as well. Hilton Head Prep is much improved. They're 1-1, one one, uh, lost a 21-20 heartbreaker at Colleton Prep this week. So uh, they're looking a lot better. Hilton Head Christians had a brutal early schedule. They're 0-2 right now, but they've got a ton of talent. They can really throw the ball around. And then Hilton Head High off to a great start. They're 2-0. They've dominated their first two games. Uh, had a, pitched a shutout on Friday night uh, against St. James. And, and Coach B.J. Payne's got a lot of talent on that roster as well. So, uh, you know, it's an exciting time, always in the fall, and, and got some good teams here on the island. And we will get Hilton Head High a week from now uh, when they play May River, which could really be a, a battle of unbeaten. So uh, we will see how that shakes out. An awful lot else going on uh, with island athletes. Let's talk a little bit about how Puna Ford's doing uh, with the uh, other Seahawks, the ones in Seattle. Yeah, former Hilton Head <laughs> Seahawk, now a Seattle Seahawk, and hopefully for a long time. I mean, you weren't sure coming out of the draft. He was undrafted, of course, landed with Seattle. Uh, both he and, and Coach B.J. Payne from Hilton Head High felt like that was a great landing spot for him, a spot where he had a great chance to make the roster. Uh, you never know with an undrafted guy. They don't have a lot invest in him, but... Uh, so far in the preseason, he's done nothing but what he's always done, which is defy expectations. You know, everybody talks about how short he is and too short to play uh, defensive tackle in big-time college football. Well, he proved him wrong at Texas, and now he's trying to do the same in the NFL. He just shrugs off the, the doubters, just like the offensive linemen coming <laughs> at him, and keeps making run stops. So uh, I've read a lot about him from, from different people covering the Seahawks who feel like you know, he's been one of the standouts of the exhibition season and has a great chance to make that roster. And if he doesn't and, and he's waived, I think there's a really good chance that he catches on with somebody else and he's on an NFL roster uh, when the season hits. Yeah, sometimes it's better to not be drafted because you can almost pick your spot a little bit and pick a place to fit, and it looks like he has done that. Uh, the best thing I think about Loco Sports is that you cover not just the big sports, not just the ones everybody's used to talking about on Friday nights, but you're covering everybody else. Uh, the cross country team on Hilton Head, at Hilton Head High is always a big team. Um, how are they doing? And then we'll talk some volleyball. Yeah, they're a perennial powerhouse, of course, but uh, longtime coach Bill Wrightson has, has uh, finally retired after a long run there and, and moved up north. Uh, but they've still got some great runners, and Sam Gilman is one that anybody who follows the local running scene will know. He's the defending state champ in Class 4A, and he started off his senior campaign with a bang. He won the Providence Invitational in Charlotte for the second straight year, ran 1548 in the 5K, which uh, if you know much about running, that's pretty impressive uh, <laughs> that's to start stuff. the season. He's not even in midseason form yet. Uh, Seahawks did pretty well overall. The boys finished eighth, the girls finished seventh, so they're looking for another great season uh, out on the cross-country trail. How about volleyball on the island? Yeah, it's always good in this area. I think the low country is, is probably one of the strongest areas in the state for volleyball. Hilton Head always has a great team. Uh, they've, they're looking pretty strong so far early on. They went up to Nation Ford for a tournament. Uh, haven't seen all the results in from that yet, but I know they were doing pretty well up there. And Hilton Head Christian Academy has a juggernaut team this year. Uh, Coach Steve simone has got a really good squad. His daughter Sydney hit 1,000 kills last week for her career. She's a senior. And they just went to the Colleton County Tournament with 25 teams, public and private schools, and they won the whole thing. They beat Bishop England out of Charleston in the championship game, and they are a Class 3A perennial power. So Hilton Head Christian looking like a serious contender this year. All right. The website is Loco Sports, L-O-W-C-O, sports.com. Justin Jarrett.
busy, busy guy. We're going to let him go now. <laughs> we'll, of course, have Friday night's showdown between May River and Whale Branch, as Justin mentioned, our WHHI Bowl Series game of the week. And, of course, all next week, we're going to be talking about the Hilton Head High May River game. Thanks to Justin. Also, thanks to Angie Gillespie, Cinda Seaman, and Brian Kynard. And, as always, we thank you for sharing your time to check us out. We'll be checking you out around our island home this week.